Hi guys, welcome to another Windows 8 tutorial. So this tutorial is going to show you how to slim down your start menu and make it a bit inconspicuous while still on the desktop. Now you have the option to go ahead and either be on the desktop or be on the Metro interface. Um, either way, now this little program is going to show you how to be on the desktop while still inside the Metro interface when you choose by hitting the Windows key or any other key that you set up with the options that the program gives you. So I'm going to go ahead and open the program. And if this notification comes up, just go ahead and press continue in a ways. And this program right here is the start menu modifier. And by default, it has it ready to go ahead and be shown at the bottom. And I'm going to press apply and show you guys. And by pressing the Windows key on your keyboard, you can go ahead and see the full effect of it. And there we have it. And you can go ahead and scroll down. You can either, you know, customize it just to make sure that, you know, you have everything. And they're all live tiles, the ones that are uh, capable of being live tiles, either one. And yeah, so you also have the option to go ahead and have it at the top by pressing apply there too. And there we have it at the top. And you can still be in your desktop mode too. And if you go over here, you can still get it the same way so that's that's pretty convenient it's not really in the way you don't have to go ahead and switch in and out and I believe if you have dual monitors or triple or quadruple monitors you can go ahead and switch them to uh, either monitor and it'll be more convenient while you still have the desktop and you still have the interface for the um, start menu now, it gives you the option to go ahead and choose a key that you want. You can either choose the Windows key, you can either choose the Alt key, or a combination of both. You can also run it at the startup. That way, you never really have to manually start it up. And also, if you ever get tired of it and you just want your start menu back by default, all you have to just do is click on default, press apply, and then uncheck that.